right, it's July 1st. We decided to come out and check out the progress for the day. So about four hours worth of work got us this right here. We got all the topsoil uh, scraped off. And so now we're gonna start bringing this chert in to start raising up our, our uh, pad here. So this is the lowest corner right here. You can see it's gonna have to come up a pretty good amount. We'll see how many loads of dirt this is. We're gonna start with 20 start filling this in um, and then next we're going to start working on the shot pad which will be right over there so stay tuned keep my fingers crossed that 20 loads is going to do this but whew, looks like a lot right now it's the second of july so it's day two of building the pads looking at 19 loads right now of dirt um, Talked to a guy doing the dirt right before um, this video and he said another foot to go to make it level. So I'm hoping we can get this done in under 25 loads. That's the goal. And this is my prime. Let me tell him one time. Set him on in my prime. Let me tell him one time. I've been on the prime. Feeling real good. Yeah, all in my prime. It's about that. All right, so let me show you what's going on. By the way, I'm pretty sure it said the heat index today was like 108. So uh, the date is July 3rd, by the way, and it's almost three o'clock. So we're bringing in loads of dirt and they're uh, prepping the pad, so come check it out. I was in a great mood yesterday thinking we were gonna get this done in less than 25 loads of dirt until a phone call this afternoon. And now we're 27 loads in, make it 30. And then we've got at least eight more to go. And that's just gonna get us the house pad squared away. So from what I was budgeting to be $8,500 on the high end has now become probably closer to $11,000 because of a dirt increase. July 5th today um, and we're just now starting on the shot pad so we got them getting that out. We're about eight inches off a of level there so we're getting the topsoil off so we can get a good base. If we're right on calculations, it's gonna be about five loads of dirt for it. So I'm gonna have to do some math to figure out how much dirt, but I know that we're way over. So as of today, we are, I would say 95% done with the house pad, but we're waiting on dump trucks to come in probably early next week to dump one more load and then cutting the topsoil off of this to get the new dirt in, um, the chert in for it. Okay, so both pads are done, so check it out. Shop pad, house pad, wave chassis. All right, come walk with me for a minute. So right up here is what we were planning to do for our parking. However, we weren't counting on Mount Rushmore to be right here to our left. So now we may have to rethink some of this, but we're gonna mess with that once um, once everything's built, I'm not even going to mess with parking and all that kind of stuff. We can park there fine and we can walk up the hill. Uh, septic's going to go in the back. So quick numbers and I'm going to put all the details of this at the very end of this video so you can see the whole breakdown. Um, but the big thing that got us on this was the dirt. We were thinking 20 to 25 loads and ended up running a grand total of 40 loads. So we paid for 40 loads at $200 a load, and that was right at $8,000. So that was, 8,500 was our max budget, so that didn't work out very well. Um, and then we went almost at 35 hours of labor to get everything smooth, pads finished, um, and that cost us another $4,400. So that put this whole pad at, whole pad construction at $12,400. Okay, let's break this thing down. 
So one load of dirt was $200, right? We ended up getting 40 loads, so that's 8,000 bucks just for dirt. Then we had six hours on the dozer at $150 an hour, and also 28 hours on the skid steer at $3,500. The grand total brings this thing to $12,400. All right, even though we spent so much money on dirt, we did have a few things that went right. So what went right for us was these three major things. I think the first one was that I shopped around significantly for dirt. Uh, it went anywhere from 275 to 325, but I was eventually able to find somewhere on Marketplace, that's Facebook Marketplace, for 200 bucks a load, which ended up saving at least about 3,000, so anywhere from three to 5,000 in savings there. Also, the weather was good. Not great for growing Christmas trees, but good for moving dirt. We didn't have any delays based off of weather. And lastly, all the contractors showed up when they were supposed to. Nobody was late, nobody stood us up, so that was a win. All right, now to talk about the three things that went wrong. All of them are based off of this dirt. So the first one is we had a significant underestimate in the amount of dirt that we needed. That trickled into number two and three which number two being we didn't really account for the elevation with all the added dirt, which means we didn't think about parking and how that would work. Also, the amount of dirt that we had to have greatly increased the amount of hours that we had to pay for labor in order to spread all the dirt. So what would I do different? I think the biggest thing that I would do different would be that we would do a ton of measurements on this pad, all four corners, multiple elevation points to really get a good idea of how much dirt we needed. We would also kind of reevaluate based off of those good measurements, where and how we would want our parking as well as where exactly we would put the shop. By the time it was all said and done, everything was kind of already set and there wasn't much we could do to change it. All right, so I wanna talk about admin notes, and these are the things that I wish I knew going into this, and maybe some things that I assumed that I shouldn't have. The first one is turnkey and what that means. When we decided to do a turnkey operation, I thought that I would be dealing with one person at Summertown Metals. Unfortunately, that's not the case. In fact, we had to sign three separate contracts, one for the shop, one for the house shell, and one for the interior finish. More on how that impacted us on number three. Because it's three separate contracts, we're dealing with three separate people, or at least it's split off amongst a bunch of different groups within Summertown Metals, which can get really confusing for me as I'm trying to figure out who to contact and for what part. The second thing is the state of Tennessee allows exemption of county permits for construction on agricultural land. Check out the TCA code there if you want more details. We did decide to go ahead and get a permit and we're hoping that that's gonna help us out when it comes to doing this VA loan. So the big one here is the fact that because of number one, where I stated it's three separate contracts, Summertown Metals requires you to put a down payment on each contract. So what that means is basically we have $40,000 that we've paid to Summertown Metals, which is about 15% of our overall cost and we're paying interest on those payments. That interest right now, I think, is interest that I should not be paying, especially considering there's not anything sitting on my property right now. Okay, thanks for watching our video. Um, please keep watching, subscribe, like, and share this video with anybody who may be interested in building a barn dough so they can learn from our mistakes.